Hey guys, what's going on today? This is Dal Su with Dal Su Plays, and yes, we are still playing Banished. We have not given up yet. Continuing to grow the pop as best we can. Um, with 212 kids, it should be fine. Uh, we're, we're still recovering from that disease that happened. I think it was measles, right? Anyway, we didn't have enough hospitals, so a little tip. Learn from my mistake. Uh, do not grow complacent with just one hospital. You use it so rarely, it's very tempting to just be like, well... I've got the hospital, I don't need to do anything, but you have to actually continue to expand your hospital facilities. I did not know that until recently, my great uh, dismay. Anyway, I'm thinking maybe of uh, farms and fields out there. Got a lot of upgrades happening right now, don't I? Yeah. These guys are getting upgraded. Um, I did not leave enough space for all my urban homes, despite how much I bragged about having it down at this point. Anyway, they're not the best in terms of quality, so even though they, they do pack a lot of people in to a small area, it's probably best if you eschew building only those. Alright. One person living in this estate. That's pathetic. Lonely old bachelor, huh? Bachelorette. Bachelor. That's a bachelor. <laughs> the symbols, I always get them crossways. I know what they are, but... I always get them crossways. Anyway, uh, we're gonna have to start thinking about our next building project, because this shit's almost done. Finally. Alright, let's let these get finished up. And then we'll consider what to do with ourselves next. Probably put everybody into labor and just have this whole area cleared. In fact, why don't I go ahead and start that right now? Just do it that way to start, and then we can always come back and fine-tune it. Not enough feathers. Again. So it always happens, man. I always run out of feathers. 600 pork last season. He somehow got watermelons out of there, too. I think it just comes from the clipping. I don't know. Some kind of uh, technical word like that. But yeah, we never have enough fucking feathers. And it's a constant pain in the ass because we're always running out of clothing. We're supposed to be at 350 or at 200 right now. We're going to want to keep an eye on that as our population grows. These guys have not been upgraded yet. That's probably what we should do with those 20 builders. I wish there was like a hot key. Anyway. We'll get those upgraded. That's going to take uh, 20 builders. So, All this mess has been completed, right? Looks like everything over here is pretty much done. We're going to want to put some farms and fields over there and finish it out that way. Let's turn the speed down a little bit. Otherwise, it doesn't run very well. Yeah, okay, we're up to like 50 laborers now, which is a healthy place to be at. And they shouldn't take very long to get all this done. But we are, we are going to have to be a little bit patient. And they won't be delivering the goods on these places. I, do, do the guys, uh, do the builders tear them down or do the, do the laborers? I hope it's builders. Because then these people will actually have something to do. Otherwise, I'd probably be better off just making them into laborers. Yeah, I might have gone a little overboard with this. It is going to take a while at speed, too, but whatever. I'll just let it go. Let me, uh, let me get rid of my builders and put them into labor. And that way, they'll be fully focused on clearing this area for us. It's kind of satisfying to watch, even at slow speed. I hate how they go all the way to the back. Do one thing and then run away. Ridiculous. Anyway. 
Let's probably speed it up, I guess. Otherwise, we'll just be sitting here watching paint dry. Most of the goods seem to be funneling back this way. I wonder why. I guess that's the closest uh, stockpile around, isn't it? Would be here. Is that where they're taking everything? Yes, it appears so. You know, we never did make barrels and crates. Something we talked about doing and we never did. Yeah, we made it like bit off a little more than we should have, but we always do that, right? We gotta get stuff out of here. We could cancel remove resources or like this, and then just get the first little bit done. Yeah, let's do that. Then we'll see about getting these upgrades. Not much left to do now that I canceled all that, huh? 70 laborers is a pretty good amount. But things still take time. Let's go see what this trader has. I don't think I'll be needing any of that. And as far as this goes... Nah. I go ahead and buy, buy a thousand logs, why not? We don't need all this wheat, do we? Alright, got some work done there. And not a whole lot of clearing left to do at this point, but it will take a little time to get that iron out. Yeah, I guess it's going to be laborers that take the storage out, right? And then after the storage out, it's probably builders that tear it down. But the storage has got to be out first, if not mistaken. Alright, turn up the speed a little bit. I think we should start experiencing a sort of population boom here soon. Yeah, we just went from 70 to like 80. i keep that ratio up, but yeah. The ratio is looking pretty sexy right now. It has been for a while, actually, so we're overdue for a population boom. Can't believe how few people I have. Somebody else commented, for the size of my city, or how spread out it is, and uh, how, how many things I've got going on, the population is really not that high, which is odd. I guess it's not all that odd, but interesting for sure. All right, so as soon as they tidy that up, it's this little corner here they got to do. They should start focusing on upgrading these houses. And I'll go ahead and assign like 10 builders. To see if they'll kind of get started. Um, probably want to go ahead and do fields out here. Fields are not very labor intensive, at least just like when you're lying, laying them down, laying them down. Yeah. There we go. Don't even have to do any labor on that one. Getting to where I can do these 11 by 11s just by eye eyeballing it instead of looking at the number. Pretty cool. I don't know if we'll just probably leave this forested. All right, have we got it done? I think we've about got it licked. They gotta pick up a few things, but that's it. And they've started to tear these down pretty good. We'll go ahead and give them their requested 36 builders. 
and just let them have a little time to do what they're doing. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a delivery. So, duty called. But I'm back. It's always annoying when that happens because it means I end up having to encode the video together later. That takes a lot of time and energy and, uh, you know, both things that I don't like to expend when I don't have to. I joke. I mean, I put a lot of effort into the things that I do, but <clears throat> there's only so much effort that you have in a given day, and it's uh, it's not something that you should just take lightly, right? Encoding can take up to an hour, too, where you can't really use your computer that well because of... Uh, I guess RAM issues. I mean, you can still use, you can still surf the internet and stuff. At least I can. Some people's computers just like locked down, but I happen to have a newer machine, so. All right. So where were we? Let's see. Yeah, we were getting these houses upgraded, and that's taken a little bit of time. Secondarily, we were plotting out our crops, and I think we were just gonna leave it, leave it like that. I don't know if we want to do anything there or not. Probably just leave it for right now. These crops should build very fast. It's just a matter of getting them cleared. And we'll go in with just two roads like this. That's all we need, really. We'll lower the number down of builders to, to exactly where it's where it's requested. And I'm not gonna like uh, activate these fields yet. I have so much damn food. It's just enough to know that they're there, they're built, we can use them anytime. Um We'll buy some stuff here. And Yeah, I'm just going to trade that. I'm not even going to do the math. Screw it. This late stage in the game, I'm pretty confident. The amount of clothing I'm working with continues to go down, though. So I do want to buy clothing if I can find it. Just bought those tools. Corn seeds! Finally! God damn. So happy. Uh, let's do 200, right? That's going to be 4,000, so... Um, 50? Close enough, yeah. Got some corn seeds. I haven't planted any corn yet this whole game. Dead Inside Digital Soil Expert has told me that corn should grow very, very well. Just because of that. Should also be lowering the amount of workers down to one. There we go. Corn. Corn for everyone. And we need a couple more farmers here. There we go. We have corn, finally. After so many trials and tribulations. Because they never bring you the shit that you want. They just don't. Hey, one of our houses got upgraded already. The others are taking their sweet ass time as always. I will take these. There we go. Just a matter of getting these upgrades finished. There we go. I hate how sometimes they look dark stone and sometimes they look Tudor. Because this is all Tudor and then we just have one stone looking house. It's a little bit annoying. Not that I care all that much about aesthetics, but I mean that's, you know, and the models are for the most part 100% awesome and lovely, but that's just a mild, a mild annoyance for me, see? It's weird. Oh well, I guess that's what a real city would look like. Kind of disordered, random, chaotic, not uniform at all. I suppose that makes more sense. But still, it'd be nice to be able to set a theme and then have variations a little bit closer to the same theme rather than... Well, I mean, I guess they are the same model with just a different skin, eh? 
I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to designing games. I mean, I don't know what these people go through, so I probably should just completely shut up about it. I like how they have little front porches, too. Or those back porches. Oh, those appear to be front porches. Alright, so that is finishing up. These are all ready to go. We're at 68 laborers. We're still pretty saucy. So, and I need to start kind of thinking about what's next. We really don't have enough clothes. We should do another chicken farm. You know, we really should. Try to really get those feathers going. Standard pasture. We'll do some very large ones. Not very large. Large-ish. I don't know what the like proper decent size for these guys is, so I'm just going to wing it. All these are going to be chicken farms. I just want the damn feathers, please. That's all I want. Give me the feathers. So these actually do require wood to build. They're not like uh, they're not like just the fields, you know. Actually, take a little effort. But I'm kind of gonna assume we have enough chickens. Where do we have chickens? I know that ducks have. Wait, is it ducks that have more meat and chickens that have more feathers, or vice versa? These small guys do 80 feathers a week, right? And then, didn't we have a duck farm somewhere? These are ducks. These small guys do 50, so the chickens are clearly better for feathers. However, that does not mean that they're actually doing a decent job at this point. That's deer. These are chickens. So we're going to be splitting these, probably. And we could also split these. And then we should be in pretty good shape. Yeah. So let uh, these builders handle that. It's like they got all the houses fixed up, just like we wanted them. All these farms are done and ready to go. They'll be planted. So yeah, I gotta focus on this. I'm gonna lower the amount of builders down. I'm uh, start starting to kind of get my population surge going here at long last. We've gone up to the 600s again. Thank God. It took us such a damn long time. Got to keep that ratio up. Mess up that ratio. Probably do like another little market down here with some more houses. I like that idea. We'll get a nice clearing going here. It's going to take a while, but make sure. All right. So we've got a lot of laborers at this point. We've got a hundred. There'd be no thing to get all that executed within a decent time frame. And all these require logs, so shouldn't be too much of a big deal. But, you know, we're watching the uh, kettle boil again, so. But, you know, our time's about up. I'm still having fun with the game. I have to be honest I'm, I'm kind of like to the point where I'm ready to play something else but you know we're gonna finish this up right on Sunday with episode number 80 so I hope you guys will continue to watch uh, I'll try to throw in as much witty ban banter as I'm able to conjure up uh, some days are good for that some some not so much usually depending on what I've had to drink but <laughs> we'll do our best um, to make a few cocktails and have a good time Thanks for watching. I'll see you I'll see you on the next episode tomorrow morning bright and early. Thanks.